Hello and welcome back to another episode of Empire Total War Darth Maw Division single player and we are playing as Sweden. Last time we uh, came in and conquered Russia and uh, yeah it's kind of spreading us thin a little bit but uh, not to be outdone the British did not like us conquering Moscow so they sent an invasion force and left this huge navy in their wake so they even got a 4th rate ship and I can't even get that ship just yet so this is going to be a struggle to say the least I do have my little army I think my uh, general just died in that but uh, yeah this is going to be picking up, the, picking up the remnants so let's go around Russia and try to fix it up a little bit because this is uh, actually becoming a pretty big cash cow it's almost two grand they are still very very upset with me, but if I fix some buildings, I think that will turn around. Let's see, we got this one. Fix this guy. Ooh, that's expensive. All right. Well, that's all right. That's what we got to do. Uh, I believe we got all the. Ooh, how much is that to fix? Oh, so much money. 3000 You know, it might even be more cost efficient just to rebuild it, but. No, we'll, we'll repair it. That's all right. And let's see here. What do we got as far as policies and ministers? Ooh, look at these guys. Oh, that would be awesome if I can get him in the Navy because that would make him at least a six star. And what is so good about this guy? He gets all the goods. Okay. So, honestly, if I can get even one, if I can get him in the head, that would be just the best. Oh, and look at that. It worked out swimmingly. So now I got a great head of state, and now I can kick out the Navy and get the real Navy guy in there who is a patron. He, uh, yeah, plus one to Navy management or administration. So now I pretty much got my, got my, all my boys. Uh, right where I need them to be. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I still need that money. I mean, it's getting me eight grand. If I reduce the taxes a little bit, it still doesn't do much. So, it does make it go down to three for Moscow. Hmm. And if I went down to here, no, still no change. All right, so gonna have to keep taxing the way I'm taxing. They're just gonna have to get over it. All right, so really, I need to get my navy pumping. I think I got, yeah, I got one fifth rate pumping here. Do I have another one? Yeah, I got another one going here. And those things aren't aren't cheap. They're uh, twelve, twelve. So let's see. I think that one's one turn, that one's one turn, so I think that's all we can really do. Hopefully the British don't t go after our trade nodes, though, so we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, let's speed that up. And they're going after our trade nodes. Not really what we want. Ay, ay, ay. Well, there goes those two ships. Luckily, I do have a substantial fleet in that region so if they do want to come after me they're going to, have to come after me with one of their bigger navies so we'll just see how that plays out i might have to fight a navy one all right you know austria i just don't want to be friends with you just yet not to say there's not hope but you are crumbling it looks like it looks like poland is <laughs> got in the middle of you poland no Poland would be another territory to be kind of nice, but I really want to go back after Denmark. Denmark is kind of my biggest neighbor. If I can take over Denmark, I can take over all of the uh, all of my northern area. And really, what I'd like to do is get peace with Russia, go and uh, and go and attack Denmark. We'll see what happens. Strike. You know what? That's all right because 
I didn't have the army in there. Of course, so that's going to change things by a lot. Let's go ahead and fix this. It's going to cost some money, but we need it. We need it in a big way. Looks like the British didn't move their navy, which is going to allow me to get my navy partly assembled, which is excellent. So I got three fifth rates, which is still nothing in comparison to the British Navy. That's all right. Let's see, I'm gonna build two more fifth rates, just to say I did. Also, I still need that plug bay in it. Oh, did I really forget to do that? Well, at least I get 15% to technology, but that was a stupid one. But, because I got that, it means I can also build this up, and that's gonna be important. So getting the next level school, we only got two grand left, and let's see. Really, I, I gotta I gotta turtle a little bit because Great Britain's navy is really making me nervous. I would like to go and just capture the British Isles, maybe go and invade Scotland, or if I can get England. The only problem with getting London is they will rebel. However, they do got a level two dockyard, and that would be huge if we can just get that. But now I'm really having uh, uh, illusions of grandeur because that's way off in my future and I need to deal with Russia first so let's go ahead and take the diplomatic approach let's see if we can't get this said peace with Russia and we can perfect alright so they said you can have Moscow that's fine and you know what even though we're unfriendly let's just he said, you know what, we need the trade in a big way, so let's do that. Alright, so we're already trading. Let's see if we can't trade with them. That would really boost. Let's see if we can't get something for our troubles as well. A thousand bones. You know what? That's alright. I'll take I'll take 490. And some trade. Now Denmark is in our sights. Oh I love it. This is perfect. And actually, one last thing. We saw Cortland. Who are they at war with? They're at war with Austria, Prussia, and their trade partners, and a protectorate of Poland. So, really, we don't want to go to war with Poland just yet. I would like to go and get them right now. I can bring some of my boys back and uh, go to war with them. All right, so let's see what we need to do. Oh, shoot. What I do need to do. I don't want to just sail them. Okay, so we might have to wait a couple turn, or at least one turn to do that. I was wanting to take these guys and put them over here, but the British fleet might kill my admiral, and I don't want that. So, then you know what? We're going to go ahead and build up some more troops. What do we got in here? Not a lot. So really, we need some infantry. I wonder how many infantry I can pull from Moscow. Because these boys are gonna. Like, look at those. Let's see if I can pull those out. It'll still be okay. Looks like it. I could probably bring a couple more. Um. You know what? Let's do those two. Moscow's still happy. Moscow's still happy. Perfect. Let's bring them up here. And it looks like our guys over here got called back. So we can... I should have probably taken this one. Uh, in hindsight, I think I was close to being there. Whatever. I'm pretty happy I don't have to deal with Russia at this point. So, let's bring, if, I, if they weren't so vetted, I think I would just get rid of them. But, because they are, I feel like I need to take them home with me. Which is going to cost a couple turns, but that's alright. The invasion, we're just prepping the invasion plan. And really, I kind of need to get out of, oh, well, I mean, I got money, so I can really stay in war mode. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright. 
it is kind of nice to get one of these really big cities with another uh, with another school. It's uh, really nice to have that. And how much money is Moscow making now that I cured everything? Wow, it almost went up a thousand. So that's that's just awesome. And all, if you didn't notice, our uh, the orthodoxy is going down. The uh, Protestantism is going up. That is because my uh, my priest here. He's doing. He's preaching the God's word. And uh, we're gonna see if they actually have some churches around here. That keep it from going. I don't think so actually. It's just a very industrialized area. But you know what I will do? Since we have so many of these, I'm gonna go ahead and burn one of them down. Because it looks like we had three weavers factories. At least that I can see. We might even have more. I know we also have this iron forge down here, but too much money. And really, it, we need to push the religion because right now that's going to cause rebellion. So let's get our populace under control. Get them under, let's see, uh, foreign occupation, religious unrest is too. too oh, shoot. 